circulating the warning for northern Tuscaloosa County. Now, let's, uh, and again, let, let's go, I wanted to check the uh, Coleman County situation here. Let me go back to the uh, Huntsville. And they are going to extend the tornado warning for Coleman County until 930. Uh, the, they're indicating a tornado possibly near the Smith Lake Dam. Uh, so we are, let's take all of the, let's go back to your system and let's just show the polygons. Okay. All right, so. Ja James, I want to, I want to say why they're extending or continuing the warnings is because the storms have shown so much of a cyclical pattern uh, today, throughout, throughout the day and evening. Uh, where they seem to decrease but then pick back up. And I think that's why the Huntsville office is continuing the warning on that particular storm there. Okay, well, let's zoom into this. And, and again, what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing for people in Coleman County. Let's show you who's in and who's out, all right? Uh, again, obviously, Bremen and Arkadelphia, you are involved in this. Uh, uh, Cold Springs, Good Hope, uh, Dodge City. Hansville is in the polygon now. This doesn't, for most of the city of Cullman, you're not in it. It, it, it affects the far southern and east city of Cullman. Uh, from downtown Cullman, north and west, you are not involved in this. Uh, it affects Garden City and Hansville right here. Uh, it does not include Holly Pond. So this is your new tornado warning. Uh, this is a tornado warning for the southern part of Cullman County for a storm that and moving northeast, uh, and that could be crossing I-65. So we encourage people not to be driving along I-65 from the Good Hope exit down to the Blunt Springs exit. Nobody should be along the interstate for about the next 30 minutes. And pretty much the same thing for Highway 31 from uh, really uh, Coleman, this is Highway 69 right here, uh, down to the uh, Mulberry Fork of the Warrior River. Nobody should be on Highway 31, and nobody should be along uh, Alabama Highway 91. That's a road that runs from I-65 back up toward the Holly so that's your warning for Southern Cullman County. Now let's go down again and show the Tuscaloosa County tornado warning. Uh, this is uh, a warning in effect for the northern part of Tuscaloosa County. Does not include the city of Tuscaloosa. It includes the northern part of Northport and points north. Uh, so that's that warning. And let's go back to our other warning in uh, Pickens County. This is for a storm that has come out of Mississippi. This is for the southern part of Pickens County. This includes Pickensville, Aliceville, Carrollton, and Gordo. Uh, so if you're in that southern half of Pickens County, you are under a tornado warning. Uh, so we, we almost went down to zero, Brian. Now we're almost. back to three. Back you know? we, uh, that, that's the way it goes sometimes. We're getting apparently small hail at um, Arkadelphia. Okay. Uh, uh, one of the sky watchers reported hail. He did not specify the size. Um, and I think he's saying now that he can't really see it that well. And let me just say this. This is going to be another slightly uh, interesting uh, situation. It looks like the weather service in Huntsville is going to be posting a high wind warning for a wake low gravity wave event on the back edge of this. And this is not directly related to thunderstorm winds. Uh, this is a situation where you can have very strong winds as rain ends. And uh, we'll put the tails out on that as soon as they issue that. So again, that is a high wind warning coming up for the Tennessee Valley for the back edge of this. They've not done that yet. They're in the process of doing that. Uh, so uh, we are in the process of working three separate tornado warning polygons right now. One for Southern, Cal uh, Southern Coleman County, one for Northern Tuscaloosa County, and one for Southern Pickens County. Other than that, we have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect uh, for parts of Jefferson and Walker and Fayette, Tuscaloosa, Green, Hale, and Sumter counties for the possibility of hail and strong winds as the storms come on through. And again, you're looking at our SkyCam network and uh, you can see that uh, we're going to have a pretty impressive lightning show north of the city uh, as we look north from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. And uh, that's that big cluster of storms. Um, They're not going to cancel the warning for the northern part of Pickens County, James, the northeastern part, because there's a warning in effect. Right, to eliminate, the southern, to eliminate confusion. Right. So, and again... The, the polygon system is marvelous. What, what it does, it, it really helps. And that's one of the reasons we like these. Uh, I was about to pull out my phone and show you my smartphone app. I don't have it in my pocket. Uh, but it knows where you are with a GPS chip. And if you are in one of these polygons, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It works very well. Weather radios are great. It's the baseline, but they're still county-based. So the smartphone apps are very good, the warning apps. And, and the two we like are IMAP Weather Radio and MyWarn. 
Uh, we have no financial interest in them, but uh, they're very good. They, they both of them work well, and they cost about $10 on, on the App Store for Android or iOS. And uh, they are fantastic. So that, that's another layer of getting these warnings. The baseline, it's a weather radio. Next layer comes the smartphones. And of course, we know everybody doesn't have a smartphone. We have a service called Weather Call that rings your home phone for those that still have home phones. Works out very well. You can sign up for that on the 3340 uh, website. But anyway, so this is where we stand right now. Well, let's check that warning for Sumter County. Brian, a new warning for uh, Sumter. Uh, this is a tornado warning for a tornado that is located 14 miles west of Cuba moving northeast at 40 miles an hour. Now, <laughs> Sumter County is in the Meridian Mississippi television market, uh, but we know a lot of people watch us that are there in places like Livingston and York. I got many friends at the University of West Alabama. Gorgeous and campus. It is a marvelous, marvelous place. And uh, there is a, there's, there's a circulation that is coming out of Lauderdale County, Mississippi. Uh, northeast of Meridian, that's going to be coming up in here. So I just wanted to show you that. The southern two-thirds of Sumter County under a tornado warning. This will include York and Livingston and Bellamy and Belmont. And if you are in any of those communities, Cuba, you want to be in a safe place. Uh, so this includes the campus of the University of West Alabama as well. That's Alabama 28 that runs down to Highway 80. That's a rooster bridge coming across the Tom Bigby River. So that is a tornado warning for the southern two-thirds of Sumter County, basically from Gainesville uh, in Epps South. Uh, and just be in a safe place if you happen to be watching us down there. Let's work our way north. And again, uh, uh, we'll show the uh, both the polygons and the radar on these things. Uh, this is the, uh, the polygon for a storm that is coming out of Mississippi that could affect places like Pickensville, Aliceville, Carrollton, Reform, and Gordo. All of those communities are in yep. the tornado warning polygon. So if you're there and if you are in uh, Pickens County, be aware that that is an issue. Then in Tuscaloosa County, the northern half of the county, and again, we stress the tornado warning does not include Tuscaloosa, does not include the University of Alabama. It includes the northern part of Northport and points north. And then for southern Cullman County right here. So we have one, two, three, four tornado warning polygons in effect for these storms. And you can see they tried to go again. They're, they're kind of separating out. So at one point we were hoping and optimistic that these things would be more in a line. But at this point, they're kind of going back to being cellular again. Uh, let's go to the high res radar. Let me just show you some of the radar looks on this. This is the circulation center that is prompted the warning for northern Tuscaloosa County. Uh, this thing is in the process of crossing over Highway 171. It'll be crossing over Highway 43 in just a little bit. And again, if you're in the northern part of the city of Northport, you need to be in a safe place. That's a small room, lowest floor, near the center and away from windows. And again, that'll be crossing after Highway 171. It'll be crossing U.S. Highway 43 up here, uh, probably near just north of Mitlary Road. If you're around Lake Tuscaloosa, you want to be in a safe place. Same deal. No mobile homes, no cars, no vehicles. Nobody should be traveling along Highway 171, U.S. 43, Alabama 69. Those are the roads going north out of Tuscaloosa and Northport until this thing passes. Uh, so that is one of the four tornado warning polygons we have now. This is for the northern part of uh, Tuscaloosa County. This is what's prompted the warning up here for Cullman County. And again, that's a pretty good little signature. This, this thing is coming and going. And like Brian says, it's cyclical. cyclical. So, you know, you see it maybe occluding and it chokes itself off and all of a sudden it's back. Well, that's a pretty decent radar signature that is located near Colony, and that's about to cross Interstate 65. So, again, nobody should be traveling along I-65 from the Good Hope exit down to the Blunt Springs exit for about the next 30 minutes, as this is a tornadic circulation near Colony that's about to cross over I-65. Next in line over here is going to be Garden City. And if this continues on this track, the Weather Service in Birmingham will have to look at a tornado warning for Blunt. Uh, we don't know if they'll do that yet, but again, that's is a uh, tornado that is in effect for the southern part of Cullman County. And again, we stress that this does not include the city of Cullman. This is for areas south of Cullman. Uh, so again, this includes uh, really from Good Hope is where the polygon begins down to Dodge City and Colony. It includes Garden City and includes Hansville. But again, that's clear rotation that is very close to Colony right now. So that is the tornadic circulation that is located in uh, Cullman County. And again, let's go back to the uh, big radar and just kind of show you the big picture. Everything else here, we got a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings in effect, but uh, 
Uh, again, we're going to watch this. And again, that when you see storms that look like that, that's always kind of problematic. That's a storm coming into the Birmingham Metro, and it's got some evidence of broad circulation on there. I'm looking at that, and the Weather Service might decide to pull a trigger on that for a possible uh, warning. But it's, it's broad, and there's a severe thunderstorm warning in effect. Like, let me show you the, the high-res radar on that thing right there. You see this right here. Again, that's the possibility of uh, what could be a, some rotation back in the southwestern flank of this thing. This is the community of West Jefferson, and uh, this is coming up toward uh, these populated corridors northwest of uh, Birmingham. There's Graysville and Forestdale. you got Adamsville down here. But again, there, there's no tornado warning here. We just have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Jefferson County, but be aware we could see some strong, maybe uh, damaging straight line winds within that. And like I've said many times before, doesn't matter if you've got tornadic winds or straight line winds, you just want to know they're coming. Malfunction junction on the uh, sky cam there, James. Right. So we are looking uh, at our uh, camera on top of the Alabama Power Company building in uh, downtown Birmingham. And uh, again, you can see the uh, lightning strikes that are almost constant. Uh, one of the things that has been uh, Storms are very hot. Yes. Lots of lightning. A J lot. James, the newsroom just buzzed in my ear and said that they're getting a lot of calls asking, what's the polygon? You want to give a shot I'll at it? I'll let you explain no. that. One. <laughs> I was you, 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 are, you are our professional weather service meteorologist. You're the WCM guy. You're the guy that invented the polygon. I did not invent the polygons. All right. Could we, uh, can, we, can we take the graphic system and uh, uh, get the, uh, the polygons up there? Well, what the National Weather Service is doing with the polygon is that you can see that the, the polygon, say, for Coleman County there, is uh, trying to reduce the amount of, of warned area within the county. They're specifying, based on where the thunderstorm, where the tornado might be, uh, where the tornado signature, the severe weather signatures are, they're trying to define a smaller area called the polygon. And that is the area at highest risk. And as James pointed out, like in the case of Coleman County, uh, Coleman, most of the city of Coleman has yet to be actually within uh, a tornado warning. Uh, there were tornado warnings to the north of them based on the polygon, but the, the county name was mentioned. So the polygon is, the idea is to reduce the amount of coverage of the warned area. And uh, that... Uh, is, is what the polygon is. Now, the polygon usually starts out, as you can see there uh, on the, the polygon map, it starts out usually fairly small near where the thunderstorm is. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the radar back on, uh, on uh, the radar there. And you can see that where the thunderstorm is is where the polygon starts. So it usually starts a little small there and then expands because the thunderstorms don't always move in a truly straight line. Uh, they may curve a little to the left or to the right based on the rotations that are going on within the mesocyclone of the thunderstorm uh, that is, is what's producing the tornado itself. So the bottom line is that they, they expand a little bit. But again, in the case of Coleman County, looking at the, uh, the warning area in Coleman County, much less of the Coleman County area is under a warning, but still... You, using geographical references, you still have to mention that it is in Coleman County. Uh, that's what makes some of the smartphone apps so much better because the smartphones have a chip. They know where you are based on your GPS, your, uh, your location. So by giving the app permission to know where you are, it can correlate with the polygon, which is also latitude-longitude. Uh, so they know whether or not you are in that polygon, and therefore you can reduce the amount of times you're going to be warned, which means, for example, you don't have to shut down your business or you don't have to seek shelter. Uh, in the case of the one for Coleman County there, you know, a, a small portion, a much smaller portion of Coleman County is actually under the gun, while people in the northwest part or northeast part or north central part can continue their normal activities being cautious of what's going on around them. So hope that helps to describe the polygon. A lot of times in the case of uh, this one where we're looking at here with the Coleman County polygon, a lot of times the warning that the Weather Service draws will follow the county boundary, which is why it looks kind of curvy on the southern boundary there. It's following the boundary of the county, which is actually along the river. So they don't always draw just straight lines to make that uh, polygon. Uh, so I hope that uh, helps people to understand exactly what the polygon is. Again, the attempt is to try to reduce the amount 
of people and area affected by warnings so that if you do seek shelter, you're seeking shelter because you really are close to and in the area of greatest risk from a severe thunderstorm, uh, from a flash flood, or from a tornado. In the case of this, at uh, the red in Coleman County, a tornado warning. All right. Um we are back. Uh, it is, uh, let's see, the time is 918. Uh, James Spann, I've got uh, Brian Peters here, and uh, we are in the midst of a long-form tornado day. We thank you for your patience. Uh, we've been here since 3 o'clock today. We've been working a tornado outbreak, and fortunately, the death toll in the state, I understand now, is 6. Uh, that was told in my ear from our news department, uh, uh, and these fatalities occurred in Limestone County uh, this afternoon. Uh, this afternoon up in the Tennessee Valley around Athens. Uh, that is the obviously the story of the day. Nothing like that down here on our end of the state, and that's good news, but we are staying with this. Uh, let's go down and take a look at these various uh, radar signatures. This is the, uh, the tornado warning storm here uh, crossing I-65. Uh, this is coming across I-65, really between Good Hope and Colony around Dodge City. And uh, this is still capable of producing a tornado. And what I want to do is take off the reflectivity, put on the velocity. And again, we can often spot these things a lot easier. And there it is. That's very well-defined rotation. That could be a tornado crossing I-65 right now, uh, very close uh, to colonies. So again, nobody should be, uh, especially on Highway 91 right now, running from I-65 up to Hansville. But uh, those of you in Hansville and Garden City, uh, even as far north as Good Hope, but the core threat is going to be Hansville and Garden City, you need to be in a safe place. That is a small room, lowest floor, near the center, and away from windows for that uh, tornado circulation that is located in southern Coleman County. This is the tornadic circulation that is north of Northport in Tuscaloosa County. And again, this thing is awfully broad, uh, but within that there could be some strong winds and maybe a tornado. Uh, this is crossed over US 43. It's crossed over Highway 171. That's going to keep on moving northeast. It's basically cutting across the northern part of Lake Tuscaloosa right now. And uh, that's going to keep on moving northeast up toward Wyndham Springs. And again, we stress this is not affecting the city of Tuscaloosa, not affecting the University of Alabama. And for most of Northport, it's the northern part of North that's being affected here and the core of this thing is passing again right over the northern part of uh, Lake Tuscaloosa so that is the second storm the third uh, <clears throat> circulation is the one down here in Pickens County and again quite frankly that is very noisy and this is a part where uh, having a hard time seeing that Brian and you yes I, I agree with you James following along on uh, the radar here in the the uh, looking at either the Birmingham or the Columbus radars and it's much harder to see. It's noise. It is it's, all noise down here. So I, I wish I could tell you a specific point where there is a tornado. But again, uh, the Weather Service saw something where they felt it important enough to put out a tornado warning and we need to uh, honor that. So again, we've got a tornado warning county. Uh, you can see Gordo is here, Reform is here. Uh, these two cities are right on the edge of this polygon. And again, I would go ahead and stay in a safe place until the warning expires. This does include Carrollton, does include Aliceville. Uh, so again, that is a tornado warning for the southern part of Pickens County, even though we really don't see a lot on radar right now, suggesting we have problems there. I'll pop off of the uh, uh, velocity stick on the reflectivity. And again, that is uh, not really overwhelming. Looks like it's pouring rain down in Greene County. Again, no evidence of any storm rotation. We got a severe thunderstorm warning down here. And then finally, down in uh, Pick or Sumter County, we have a tornado warning in effect for this cluster of storms coming out of Lauderdale County, Mississippi. Tornado warning includes places like Cuba, York, Livingston, so the University of West Alabama. So if you're down in Sumter County watching this on the live stream, uh, I would be in a safe place until this thing passes. Take about 30 minutes or so. The, the southernmost storms are going to be the ones that could be problematic. Those those are the storms in a more unstable air mass where the inflow is better. So again, uh, these are the ones you really have to watch down here. So again, that is a tornado warning for the southern part of Sumter County, basically from Emel and Epps south. And again, this includes Livingston and York. Looks like a bow-shaped echo almost in here. This could be more of a damaging straight-line wind event, but clearly that storm could pack a big-time punch as it comes across uh, Sumter County. So again, now uh, we'll go back up to uh, Tuscaloosa County and take a look at the reflectivity. And Brian, let's... Tuscaloosa yep. Sky Cam? Yeah, the, uh, well, and uh, the, it's raining there now. Oh, wow, lightning, uh, tremendous lightning. Let's take a look at the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. Yeah, okay, just missed that one. Just wanted to mention, James, that the Huntsville National Weather Service is uh, continuing the warning until 930 for Coleman. Uh, that's uh, the the um, rotation that we were watching that's approaching. Yeah, uh, it, it looks good. Hansville? 
Yeah, yeah, it, it, it does. And once again, th these things have been very cyclical uh, tonight uh, and this evening. They have, uh, they have shown signs of diminishing and becoming rather broad, and then they will tighten back up. So the mesocyclone is getting stronger. That means there's a greater potential that it could be producing a tornado. Remember, the radar is looking above the ground, so we're looking at the, the rotations, the circulations that are going on within the thunderstorm, within the updrafts of the thunderstorm. Uh, and I just noticed once again, James, because of the rural nature of some of our counties, Walker County uh, 911, we've mentioned several times, has been very quiet all evening. Now they're starting to get reports of trees down. Uh, and these uh, have got to be from previous storms, not the current ones. Wow, that was quite a lightning strike. Yep. And again, let me just say this too. If we're not talking about your community, we're not ignoring you. We're just, there's nothing happening there of a severe nature. We are here to look at the storms that are life-threatening. And uh, if we're not calling out your hometown, that means you've got no severe weather problems. You might have rain, thunder, and lightning. But remember, severe weather is defined by hail, one inch in diameter of 58 miles per hour greater or a tornado and that is our focus here so as the storms keep on moving east uh, if you become under a severe weather warning we'll start to focus on you but uh, we're, we're trying to focus on those storms that are uh, severe at this point and for those of you in east alabama there is nothing severe nothing uh, aniston gaston you've got some rain you've got some thunder you got some lightning we got no problems here the issues so far have been mainly along and west of and they continue to be and that's a little bitty storm up there in fact let's go back to that high res radar uh, we got a very tight circulation here this no doubt this could be a tornado uh, this thing is crossed over i-65 next up it'll be coming up coming up along u.s uh, highway 31 hansville and Garden City. And clearly, if you live in Hansville, if you are a student at Wallace State, if you are there on the campus, if you are in Garden City, anywhere close to those two cities, you need to be in a safe place. A small room, lowest floor near the center away from windows, as this circulation will be crossing Highway 31 in a matter of moments. And then ultimately, it'll be cutting back out into Blount County. And we'll see, this is Bluntsville right here. And the Weather Service in Birmingham could very well have to put out a tornado warning for parts of Blunt as this thing uh, is coming out of Cullman over into Blunt. We'll just have to wait and see. But that's a pretty good circulation center. And I would not be shocked if a warning was to be extended. Now we got a tornado warning for Jefferson County. All right, uh, we got a tornado warning yes. for Jefferson County. So let's uh, uh, go right to that. Uh, I'll show you what we got here. I've been looking at that, and I think everybody has been looking at that. And there it is. This is a circulation that is located. Uh, and again, this is a case. Let's go back to your system first. Before we go to the radar, let me show you the polygon. Who's in? Who's out? We're going to take off the radar data, and we're going to put up the uh, specific locations in Jefferson County in the polygon. And if you guys can make me full screen for just a minute, that'll make it easier for us to see. Downtown Birmingham is not in the polygon. This tornado warning includes places like Adamsville, Fultondale, Forestdale, Gardendale, Mount Olive, Kimberly, Morris, Warrior, uh, West Jefferson. Uh, it includes Pinson, it includes Trussville, it includes Clay, it includes Chalkville, it includes North Birmingham. And if I've called out any of your communities, that means you need to go to a safe place. Uh, from downtown Birmingham, basically I-20 South, you are not involved. If you live in Hoover, if you live in Homewood, if you live in Vestavia, if you live in Mountain Brook, if you live in Bessemer, involved in this. In Pleasant Grove, you're not involved in this. Uh, this thing uh, is out here in the vicinity of Sylvan Springs, and it's moving back up in this direction across the northern part of Jefferson County. So let's go back to the uh, radar, and let me show you what we've got. We've been watching this. It's, it looks suspicious for about the last 30 minutes. Uh, this is the circulation center right here. That's Sylvan Springs. That's Pleasant Grove. The tornado, or the possible tornado, this is based on uh, radar indication. And again, I, I have not seen any evidence no reports so far, James. Right. This is based on radar. All right. So again, this is the tornado, and it's moving up like this. Uh, this is U.S. 78, Graysville, Adamsville, Forestdale, Cardiff, Brookside. West Jefferson is up here. Uh, next up in line, this will be cutting across uh, places like Edgewater and McDonald Chapel. Uh, you you want to think about Graysville, Adamsville, probably as far north as Sayre, Cardiff and Brookside, Forestdale. If I've called out your community, you need to go to a safe place. This is not 
Uh, uh, nothing like April 8th of 1998, in my opinion. Nothing like April 27th, 2011. If something's down here, more than likely it's going to be a smaller tornado, but the truth is those can be dangerous and life-threatening. And again, that's the circulation center right here. So this is a, a situation where you want to take this seriously and go to a safe place. That's I-65. Uh, this is moving northeast, so this is clearly going to go north of downtown Birmingham. So for the major medical centers in Birmingham, there is no need for any action at the hospitals in the city of Birmingham uh, in that the Polygon does not include downtown Birmingham. Birmingham. The Polygon is for areas north of downtown Birmingham. Uh, but again, this will be crossing over Highway 78 uh, in about the next uh, five minutes or so, probably in the vicinity of Graysville or Adamsville. Uh, and then it's going to keep on cutting out across uh, Interstate 65 in the vicinity of Gardendale, uh, Fultondale, and Mount Olive, and then ultimately cutting across over here toward Pinson. So if you live in any of these places we've called out, we recommend you go to a, a safe room. Uh, a small room, lowest floor, near the center, away from windows. No mobile homes, no vehicles. And, of course, that means we're recommending no travel along inter or U.S. Highway 78 from the Arkadelphia Road exit on Interstate 5920 up to the Walker County line. We advise, advise no travel along Interstate 65 from Malfunction Junction in downtown Birmingham up to the first Warrior exit. And by the way, we should point out now that we're I've got, got a tornado warning for the Birmingham Metro. We're simulcasting on our Birmingham radio affiliates, WZZK at 104.7, the new EZ 97.3. Uh, and again, if you need to listen to us on the radio, those are the stations in Birmingham where we are simulcasting right now. Uh, we have other stations in other parts of the state, but we're just joining the Birmingham stations because we now have that warning for Birmingham. So let's go back to our polygon map, and we're gonna we got a lot.